In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement calendar view in Android. So we can go to the resources, layout and activity main XML part. Go to the split mode and we have to add a calendar view. First of all, we can change the parent layout to linear layout. We can also set the orientation to vertical. Now we can change the text view and place a calendar view. Match parent, warp content and close the calendar view and here. We need to give an ID for the calendar view. Okay, that's all with the view part. Now we can go to activity main. That is the main activity Java part. Okay, and inside this class, we have to create an object for the calendar view. We also need to create an object for the calendar. So calendar, calendar. Okay, and come inside the own create method. Now we can initialize the calendar view. Calendar view equal to find view by id r dot id dot then give the id of the calendar view. So we have set the id to calendar view. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can go to the activity main and check if the id is correct. Okay. Make sure the id is correct. It is very important. Now we have to initialize the calendar for that calendar equal to calendar dot get instance that's all now we can set an on date change listener to the calendar view so when we change the calendar date we can get the exact date that we choose so for that we can call calendar view dot set on date change listener okay pass the new on date change listener okay now inside this listener you can see that we are having instance of the calendar view and we are having three integer values so the first one is the year and the second one is the month and the last one is the day so we can change the variable names okay now go inside the on selected day change listener and here inside the method we can show a toast message so you can see we are getting the year month and the day so this will return the day that we choose inside the calendar view so you can see here we can choose different dates so if you click on the 13th of january of this particular year we'll get the exact message that is the exact date here okay so we can show that here as a toast message okay so our toast message is going to show day month and the year so we have also added this slash so that it will look much better okay so that's all so we have set the date change listener now we can also see how to set a date to the calendar view and also read a date from the calendar view so for that we have to create two new functions so come outside the own create and create a function set date and in order to set the date we need to pass the day month and the year so int day comma int month and comma then we have to pass the year also int year so that's all now we have to set the date so for that we have to call the calendar so we have created the object on the top for calendar so call that object dot set and inside that call calendar dot year give a comma then we can pass our year variable that's all so just like this we can call the month and the day of month so i'll show you so duplicate this line and we can change year to month and here we can pass the month when you pass the month we have to decrease one from that so month minus one so always make sure that you minus one from the month when you pass it to the set method okay that's all now we can set the day so calendar 
dot set calendar dot day of month okay choose this one comma and pass the day that's all now we can get the time in milliseconds for that long milli equal to create a variable calendar dot we have to call the function get time in millis then we can call the calendar view dot set date inside that we can pass the milli so this is the time now it will get set to the calendar view so you just have to call the set date from here so we can call it from here okay set date and let's pass the date so the day can be one give a comma and the month one give a comma and the year 2023 okay okay we can try running this and check if it is working so now we can see the app has launched and the date that we set from this function is working so the year is 2003 and the month is january and the day is one okay so we can change the day and try if it is working okay click run and you can see the day has changed okay now we can also learn how to get the date from the calendar view so for that we have to create a function get date and inside this we can call the calendar view dot get date and this will return a long type of data so the data type for that will be long so call long maybe like date equal to calendar view dot get date okay now we are getting the long data now we have to convert it to readable form so for that simple date format create an object okay we can minimize the emulator so we can view it properly equal to new simple date format inside that we can pass the pattern so let the pattern be like day then the month and then the year comma locally dot get default okay now after this we can call calendar dot set time in millis and then we can pass the date and then we can create a string and create a string like selected date equal to now we can call the formatter so the simple date formatter dot format and pass the calendar dot get time okay now we can make this time as a toast message so we are getting the date inside this variable as a string now we can show it as a toast message so make a toast and we can pass the date here so selected date okay that's all now we can try running it so before that we have to call the function so call the function maybe after the set date get date okay so the set date will set the date to the specified day month and year and the get date will show the stores message with the date that we have set inside this function okay and when we click on the calendar view we can get the day month and year that we just pressed on okay so that's what going to happen so we can try running it so you can see the app has launched and we are having the toast message at the bottom hope you saw that so if you don't saw that you can go back a few seconds and you can see that and we can see the set date is working this is the third day of january 2023 okay now we can try clicking on the first and we are getting the toast message so you can see the month is zero so that's because we have to add one to the month so we just forgot that so here you can see that we are reducing one from the month when we set the date and here inside the on selected date change we are simply reading the day i will show you 
So we are simply reading the month. We are simply showing the month here. So this one will be one minus from the actual value. So we have to add one to the month. Okay. So always remember that when you are reading the month, you have to add one. When you are setting the month, you have to reduce one. Okay. That's all. Let's run it. You can see the toes at the bottom. Let's click on the one and you can see one zero one. 2023 okay hope you understand how to implement this so that's all with the implementation part hope you learned how to implement calendar view in android if you like to download the source code of any videos that we are doing you can simply come to this url i'll give the link on the description and you can simply download it from here hope this video was helpful if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos